Hi guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a review on a book that I have absolutely loved for this year. It's probably my favourite book so far. Um, and I just think it's something that I would love to share with you guys because I think you guys will enjoy it as well. The book I'm talking about is Night Film by Marish Marisha Pessel. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. I'm not 100% sure. It is an adult fiction psychological thriller, so it's not um, young adult, but I still think it's definitely within the realms of what um, a lot of people out there would definitely love to read. So the premise of Night Film is basically about the death of a daughter um, of a famous director who directs psychological thrillers. He lives a really underground life, so nobody knows about him a lot. Um, and there is this journalist who has been trying to sort of discover him or discover his past and then is trying to um, reveal him to the world as somebody who isn't as good as everybody thinks he is or somebody who has deep and darker secrets. So when the death of this girl happens, the journalist decides to follow the trails and try to um, discover why she died. Um, is it really a suicide like what the police says or is there something else behind it? And he actually teams up with two other characters and they make this trio who go through and discover the mysteries of the um, psychological thriller director and the daughter. So the way it's written is very, very intriguing. Um, I find that Marisha's writing is very captivating, very grouping. It's also set at a really fast pace, so I'm actually, you know, trying to get towards the end as fast as I can and the intensity is still keeping up with me. Um, I don't find that it's dragged out or it's boring at any point in time. I also do find that it's written in a way where it actually seems really realistic um, so it actually seems like it's a true story written in book form for us to read even though it's actually purely fiction. A lot of it comes down to the fact that there are actually made up articles and websites and newspaper articles that you can find in the book um, just spread throughout the entire book so that's one there. And you have things like different newspaper um, interview articles or interview with different characters that add to the story, um, which I think is really fascinating because it just adds so much more to the um, plot itself and it actually, actually makes it so much more realistic, so much more easy to read and so much more interesting to read as well because then you've got different evidence to the plot that um, just changes things up so you're not reading bulks of writing um, and you just actually have a different element to help you sort of further understand the novel as well. The characters themselves are very interesting. So you have a journalist who isn't exactly a hero, but isn't exactly an anti-hero. He sounds like a very normal person to me. I'm very relatable and he teams up with his two teenagers, um, both of them who have their own backstories to themselves, who have this character depth. And over time they do sort of develop a bit. Um, you find that one of them has a stronger character progression as opposed to the other one but the other one has more of an interesting backstory I do think that they weren't really characters that I fondly love um, purely because I wasn't as attached to them as I was to Sam to the actual daughter who died so she even though she isn't actually actually existing in the story she leaves a really big impression um, throughout the plot and on me as well. I found that the way she was written, um, through different perspectives about her, you know, you know like through different witnesses, through different um, character descriptions about her, she became this lifelike person who really is really memorable um, and made the story a lot more worthwhile in reading. I love the fact that this was really creepy, um, really thrilling, really gripping. I really wanted to know what the um, entire story was about, you know, I really wanted to get to the end and figure out what was going on. Um, it was definitely really creepy towards the end. I would say that the ending picks up and just goes bang, 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 bang. And I was sort of really creeped out by what was happening there. Um, obviously, I can't tell you what happens because that would be a spoiler. But I think that's probably the number one thing um, that kept me reading, the fact that it gave me all these emotions, it made me feel all these things and I was 100% inside the book with these characters experiencing the things that they were experiencing um, and just, you know, really there. I think the ending isn't as satisfying as what a lot of people might want but I find that it is a very ingenious way of ending. It doesn't really make a lot of sense now but I feel like if you read it and if you sort of think about it in the end you go, oh, so I understand why the ending's this way. Um, it definitely aligns with how the plot has played out with how the characters have been made um, and with how the director's movies and his life and all of that stuff is explained in the story. You do come full circle after a while, you just have to think really carefully. There's a lot of thinking, like a lot of thought, thought processing in this novel, which I love. Like I love having to 
let my brain work when I'm reading um, so that I'm actually engaged and not really detached and sort of just skimming through the book. I would say that sometimes the size of this can be a bit daunting to people but it is a really easy read. Um, I did fly through it and like I said you've got the articles in there, there's not a heap of writing in there um, and I definitely think that it is worth the read. I would say that anybody who likes a lot of mystery, who likes a lot of thriller, um, even just really good writing and really good plot progression and character development um, definitely check this out. I did give this a 5 out of 5 um, just because I loved it so much and I would think that this would probably be a book that should be made out into a movie because it would be make it would make such a great movie to watch. The entire time I was reading this I was visualising pretty much every scene that was going on there um, so definitely check it out. If you have read this I did, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought about it or if you plan to read it at all and if you have any other recommendations that are sort of along the lines of this book um, I would love to know. Otherwise that is pretty much my non-spoiler review for Night Film. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!